about as far as I can take it. <laughs> very good. Very good. Yeah. Very fun. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, man, you're killing me. <laughs> playing with a pick uh, on the on this hand is. I'm so used to playing the electric guitar now that I. I uh, oh yeah. You know, get get doing... blistered. <laughs> <laughs> Finally got there. Is everybody ready? Okay, all right. Okay, should I start? Yes. Yeah. So I want to welcome everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling Marianne, I'm not used to being the center of attention, but I like it. <laughs> so I might do this again. Right. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Right. Another 60 years, I hope. Yeah. <laughs> And, um, you know, there's people here from pretty much every part of my life. I think this is Talia calling me. Oh. It is. <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll let her call back. Um, but almost every phase of my life, not my childhood, I don't think any of you were here when I was a kid, but Peter from Boston, who came out. Yeah, uh, we met when we were 16 or 17. I tried to call David Thierman, but I could not get a hold of him. <laughs> no, he's from my childhood. So Peter and I met when we were 16 or 17, uh, before college started. And then Jim is from uh, college. He was across the hall from me in my dorm. That's how we made friends. And then the rest is history. Yes. We all are. And, uh, I just want to thank everybody for schlepping to the North Bay, even without a hike. I'm sure all of you are greatly relieved <laughs> that it rains and that we got washed out. But for those who wanted to hike, we'll, we'll have a rain check. And, uh, here's to St. Patrick. St. James. St. James. St. James. Right. 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 Well, I was telling a few people the story. I grew up in Long Island, and my mother took me out to the St. Patrick's Day Parade every year. She, I, I got to leave school, and I thought it was a parade for me. <laughs> and it was. So it was a St. It was. It was for you. But, uh, what, what I learned my lesson. What age did you I learned your lesson. Was it for you? See how it is. Maybe it is for you. They're still waiting for me to show up again. Maybe if you get Santa Claus, right? Great sir. So I'm going to offer a toast to Jamie, the love of my life. Oh, look, you see? Oh, oh, just in time. Yay! Yay! Get them something. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. So I was 
I was not going to be rabbinic at all <laughs> today. What? But Jamie and I. <laughs> but Jamie and I actually went to Torah study this morning oh, because right. the hike was washed out, and we had a special scholar that was teaching. One of the things he taught was so perfect for Jamie's birthday that I have to share it in his name, um, Rabbi Michael Marmer, and he actually was talking in the name of Abraham Joshua Heschel. And the teaching was about how there are people in this world who understand what it means to step back, to allow everyone else to shine, to fill the room with their special gift, to bring that gift out into the open and let it be there for everyone else to appreciate. And I thought he was talking about you. Yeah. <laughs> so here's a toast to someone who is so filled with so many gifts. But his greatest gift is allowing each of us to bring that into it. Here's to Jamie. So, now that I'm crying, everybody else can talk. <laughs> But you don't have to. <laughs> and just to warn you, I wrote a song to myself. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's that's there. Let's on sing special, it. On special it's coming occasions, a little bit later. On special occasions, I write a song for people, and I decided oh. turning six years with a song. Oh. But we'll sing it later. Oh. And James, I tried to write one for you, and in honor of your birthday, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> just to express what a nice guy Jamie is, not that anybody needs to be reminded of how nice Jamie is, but when I, he was a great ahead of me, and when I was looking for residencies, I called Jamie, who was in California, and I said, Jamie, you know, how's your residence? And he said, well, dudes, I love it. That's exactly what he said. Great. So, so I applied, and then my senior year, I flew around doing interviews, and I was in Portland, I think, and I was flying to the Bay Area to interview down here, and... Um, so I called Jamie, I already had a flight, and I said, Jamie, you know, you're down there somewhere, can you pick me up at the airport or something? He goes, hey, yeah, sure. So then, little did I know that I guess he was living in the East Bay in Oakland, California, and I was flying into San Francisco. That's a long way to go to pick up, kind of like, you know, a friend. So, so he picked me up at the airport, and 
brought me to the East Bay, and um, and actually, you know, in retrospect, I realized what a long drive it was, and I thought, gee, this guy is such a nice guy. He never even complained and say, why didn't you fly into Oakland? You know? <laughs> then I discovered there was an Oakland um, Oakland Airport, and I use that from now on. I always think of Jamie. Anyway, every time you fly. Every time I fly. Every time I fly. Every time I fly. So when Jamie was having his birthday, we decided we had to write him a song. So Talia and Todd, her boyfriend, and my brother-in-law Bobby and me, uh, we all took a shot at <laughs> writing a song. And you'll see when Jamie sings his song that he's much better at the than we are. But yeah, we're we gonna recruited a canter to sing it. <laughs> so we recruited not only <laughs> Not my fault. <laughs> it's not his period at all. <laughs> but he was very kind to listen to the song online. And David, God bless him, said he would bring his guitar. And as a special surprise, we didn't even know Peter was bringing his guitar. And Leia agreed to sing as well. All right. all right, here we go. So there's a little, there's a tiny little intro. <laughs>
Yeah. 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 That's a good song. <laughs> but I have another. <laughs> oh, yay! <laughs> Not that we're comparing. Okay. No comparison. That's a tough act to follow. No yeah, comparison. It's a tough act to follow. And this one may not be as good. But. But it might be. It's sort of to the, to the tune of the San Francisco Bay Blues. I've reached my 60th birthday How, how have the years flown away I didn't mean to use it so fast But the decades would last and last I think I threw my 20s in the trash I think I take my 30s in a flash But here I stand
Just ex Judy just explained to me why there's seven candles. Uh, it's chocolates. <laughs> 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 you want to tell them why? Oh, because there's one to grow on. Did any of you? <laughs> that means you'll be here for my 70. I hope you'll all be here. And we're going to hike. We're going to hike. We're going to have a hike. Everyone take a rain check in 10 years. <laughs> I don't have any communicable diseases that I know of. Okay, they're going to come cut the cake and give you... <laughs> yeah. It's not my favorite thing to speak in public, but um, I don't know what to say. I, Jamie's one of my favorite people, and, and, and it's so lucky to love who you work with um, and to love that kind of relationship, but to, to, to work with and become friends with um, your colleagues and their families is very dear and special to me. Um, and uh, so I cherish my relationship very much with you, um, and uh, and I also enjoy making music with you in a very different sort of way. But uh, it's a uh, um, it's great to be able to be your your, your cantor, your maestro, and your friend. Uh, so thank you. So I won't be. Uh, I'll be uh, the last one to speak. I'm accustomed as I am to public speaking. Yes, I'm actually fairly shy, and that's why I wrote a song. But I can't not <laughs> talk. Uh, first, I'd like to thank Eric and Merrill and the kids and Chris for coming. Just love you guys, and thank you so much for being here. And I want to thank Ben and Sandy for being who you are and being in our lives for every day. Ben and Sandy are in our lives every day. They live across the street. So whether we like it or not, they're in our lives. But we do tend to enjoy it. And uh, you're wonderful folks, and thank you so much. And I want to thank Laura for being in our life, she's really a star. She's a guy star She convinced for me us. to marry you. <laughs> <laughs> and for that, if for nothing else, <laughs> it was nothing you did. <laughs> because, lastly, I want to thank you for being in my life and for saying yes. And, uh, Best decision. Oh, good. Thank you. Thank yes. you. It's just been a sweet, sweet time together. We're married 32 years and uh, looking for 32. Almost more. 33. Almost 33. So thanks everybody for being here and celebrating.